You may recall that it was only about uh, three days ago or so that I said I had just that morning ordered some more CA Thin from William Woodwright. Just to let you know, it arrived yesterday already. If you're Canadian, give these guys a chance. You know, a lot of you viewers are pen turners, and I think there's one Canadian. <laughs> anyway, give them a chance. Their prices are great and their service is excellent. Wow, look at the size of those bushings. Okay, I admit it. I'm doing a little bit of acting here right now. Otherwise, why would I have that mag switch in my pocket unless I knew I was going to need it? I know that I'm fond of them, but I'm not that fond of them. Now, when I'm going from my one and a quarter inch Laguna resocking blade down to this little spindly blade, I have to remember not to be pushing in too hard because if I do, it'll twist the blade and you'll get, you know, the uh, illusion of bandsaw drift. Uh, a blade this thin, it's almost like using a spiral blade on the uh, jigsaw. Well, not quite, but you sort of get the idea. As long as you don't push too hard, it'll go straight. You don't have to do any adjusting of the, uh, of the fence or uh, of the miter gauge or anything like that with the blade this thin, as long as you don't push too hard. At least that's been my experience. I know you're probably thinking it looks like there's a bandsaw drift there. Well, the reason I ran it through is because this wasn't square. Now it is square. Okay, so it's not square. Why do I have this need to confess? Okay, the miter gauge was square, more or less. I think I might know what went wrong. Well, it's better. This is probably why I like to use a table saw. But right now my table saw is all covered up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but on that last cut, I went really, really slow. Yeah. My theory works. Now, I realize this isn't centered. But I want it just a little bit off for a reason.
I don't believe it. Okay, I really didn't notice that. Must be getting old. Okay, that one works. Yeah, that's going to work. Now I want this to just barely come in on that pencil. Now I can see the blade is going to come in a little bit on the far side of the line there, but that's okay. For this particular contraption, I want a bit of a loose fit here. Well, there. I think that's going to be all right. No, I want to remember that I don't want to be catching the teeth on anything and break any off here. So whenever I move this, I got to remember if I feel something binding, stop. Oh, let's see. This should fit, maybe. Uh, there we go. As long as the very center is covered, that's the main thing. Now, because I'm going to want this to be rotating nice and easily for me, I'm just going to put this more or less in the center. close enough. Now, if you remember, yesterday, I think it was 1,276 millimeters. Okay, so divided by 2, so the halfway point is 638. So let's do uh, 640, make it a little bit over because I, I want it to be a little bit over. And if this is not right, it's going to be obviously wrong. Okay, once again, three hands would really be nice. So I'm just going to use this little cheap clamp here just to hold this. So what do I need here? 638. Six hundred and thirty-eight. Okay, there's six hundred and thirty-eight. 
Okay, that looks like 638 and a half. Let's try it, see what happens here. Okay, now I know this is really, really long. And I realize I don't have anything on this end yet. That's because I'm not sure what I want to do. Well, let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, that's not good. I can't get all the way down. Well, maybe having that thing in the center there isn't a good idea. Let's take it out. All right, I'm going to have to make the pencil longer. Okay, now I'm at 640. Well, let's leave it there. Very gently now. Okay, I hope you can see what's happening there. There seems to be a bit of a circle forming. Well, we've been almost all the way around now. center of that little white circle should be the center. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to be uh, closing this video off for today. And thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.